I basically, you know, put the pen down and then just go with it. The pen knows where it's going and I've got very good at following. So usually it starts off with a very, you know, fast movement and then I'll step back and fill in the gaps. You know, if there's a soft line, so then I'll do a nose and if you have a nose, you need eyes and then a mouth. So it's like a language unfolding. Stickmen are great because you can put them to work. They're always pushing and pulling things. So my name's Chantelle Martin and I draw. I draw on everything. Cars, shoes, people, walls, clothes, planes, whatever I can get my hands on. When you use colour, in a way you're directing people where to look because the stronger colours will draw your attention. When you have something that's very black and white, 10 people look at it, they're all going to be drawn to a different place. When there's other people involved, I love to use colour. But when it's me, when there's that interaction between me and the paper, there's something very special about keeping it black and white. It's very calming and you can't hide. When I finished school, um, I went to St. Martin's in London, ended up moving to Japan and in the music or avant-garde or the club scene there. So drawing live drawn digital visuals on my computer and having those projected live to DJs and dancers and musicians. I felt a little isolated and you know things are very small there. So the way I was drawing in Japan was, was very um, personal, you know. So these are almost like my old diaries in a way um, of things, people, places. When you draw with a 0.05 pen, it's so fine that you have to get really close to the pen. So there's, there's only you and the pen and the paper in the space. Whereas when you come to somewhere like America, everything's so big and bold and confident and there's all this space. And um, so I feel like it, you know, naturally got bigger because of the environment here. The assumption is that I think about what I'm doing, I don't. But then at the same time, it's not like I'm coming to it with kind of no idea. I come to a drawing with intention and good intention to make something work. I feel like I'm doing what I'm meant to do, you know, and how I'm meant to be connecting with the world. You know, I get asked, how do I plan my composition? And I'm like, I don't plan, it just works. And I don't know how it works or why it works, but I trust in the pen and I trust in this experience. And every time I step back, you know, I secretly say to myself, it works. There you go, I had that feeling, so I'm, I'm finished.